All right, and we're recording. Hey gang, Andy here, and welcome back to my monthly update videos for this November 2017. Woo. So it's been a while since I've done some of these uh, monthly update videos. For those of you who haven't seen it or haven't seen it in a while, in these monthly update videos, I'm gonna be going over some personal life stuff as well as youtube -y stuff. Let's start off with the monthly update videos themselves. So as you guys know, at the beginning of 2017, I decided to get rid of the monthly update videos, uh, mostly because um, I was afraid of their overall shelf life. But uh, I was doing some uh, video cleaning earlier. Um, I typically do that for some of my old videos, go back in, uh, change title, tags, descriptions, stuff like that, just to make it a bit more searchable for you guys to find stuff and just to do an overall cleanup for stuff. And I came across some of my old uh, monthly update videos from like 2012, 2013-ish. And uh, I noticed that even though it does have a lot of then current information, it's also kind of just a look at uh, the progression of my channel and myself, where I'm at, what I'm doing, that sort of thing. So in a way, it's a little bit more vloggy than even my vlogs. So looking at it from that perspective, I think that it's best to bring back the monthly update video series. Um, as far as like my own YouTube channel and videos and stuff like that, um, we got finals gonna be coming up later on this month. In addition to that, I'm also working for my good old buddy, Tikio Sam, on his videos. Uh, for those who don't know, I am the main video editor for the Tikio Sam channel, so I edit his Tikio rants, Tikio plays, and a couple other miscellaneous videos for the past year or so. Some of the most notable examples of that would be the What's in My Bag video, and the, at the time it's recording, recent video for Halloween 2017, which I put a lot of effort in that video, and I'm really pleased with the response that it's gotten from the Tikio Sam fam. Really put a lot of uh, love and troop and spraying into that one. With all that being said, um, as far as like my own videos goes, at least with this month anyway, I don't really know what else I'm gonna be putting out. I still have a couple videos from the archives that are scheduled out to like mid-November. It's not like you're gonna see nothing from me, but I'm gonna be pretty busy for the next month or two. It's just gonna be a busy old time for the old Andy Sand Sam Adesh stuff. Um, for those of you know, I'm wearing uh, one of Sala Monsters t-shirts. I'm wearing this to celebrate 10 years of the Sala Monster Sounds Off podcast. So moving on from that into uh, some more personal news. Um, I'll be honest with you guys, I've been going through some really uh, tough shit for the past couple weeks now. Um, been dealing with some uh, problems, medical, uh, automotive re related as well. Uh, and it's been tough on me, you know, even leaving the house, going to school and whatnot. Uh, it's just made it very uh, difficult on me mentally, emotionally, all that stuff. And uh, thankfully the medical and the automotive stuff has been taken care of, so that's a big weight off my chest. And uh, things are starting to look up again. You know, I'm feeling a lot better. So if you, if you couldn't tell from the earlier, earlier stuff, uh, but the fact remains is that um, I do have these anxiety issues and they sometimes just show up. You know, it's very hard to track when these things happen. It's not just a, well, I'm going through something. So, you know, it's not like being traditionally sick where it's like, oh, I got the flu, shucks, I'll just, Stay inside, drink some water, tea, orange juice, whatever, and just kind of wait it out. Um, these things can happen just for random stuff. Like, I think this recent anxiety episode happened because of the car issues and also had a little bit of a medical issue. It wasn't anything life-threatening, so you don't have to worry about it, but uh, I was sick for about a week and uh, the sickness and the whole car issue and everything uh, kind of compounded into a whole bunch of stress that really fucked up my sleep schedule, to be honest with you. So that compounded things even more and uh, I just became a fucking ball of nerves, basically. So um, thankfully now the sickness is gone, the car is fixed and you know, getting ready to uh, kick ass again at school. So 
I'm going to be talking to a therapist, hopefully this week, um, trying to get something scheduled. But this time of the year, it's pretty difficult because I'm not the only one going through these issues, especially during this time. You know, the finals coming up and whatnot. Uh, so I gotta talk with my therapist, let them know what's going on, why I haven't been to school, and stuff like that. And uh, hopefully uh, I can talk to my teachers and we can work something out. Because, you know, the reason that I'm not doing well in school isn't because I don't know the material, or the material's too hard, you know, I gotta get a tutor or something like that. You know, far from it. Like, the material, uh, to me at least, is pretty easy, and my instructors are fairly chill. But it's just a lot of build-up shit in the head brain that kind of fucks with me on a day-to-day -day basis. And then when I want to go out and do something, whether it's go to school or whatever, you know, there's always that little voice in my head saying, you know, I don't do it. You know, I just, eh, you still got enough groceries in the house. Maybe you can just stay here for a little bit. You don't have to go outside and waste gas. Eh, you know. Definitely want to get this thing taken care of. Um, get myself set up on a path of success. Something I know I can do. Get my degree, get that paper, and uh, move on to the next chapter in my life. And speaking of which, since I'm on the GI Bill, it's a little bit more difficult for me to... Uh, study abroad than it would be if I was just on like a normal scholarship or uh, grants or however else go to college. Um, the GI Bill has very specific rules involving that. Um, it can cover international schools, but the amount that it covers varies depending on the school, country, all that kind of stuff. So I didn't want to end up owing the school money because I wanted to study abroad, and plus BAH may or may not be offered outside of the country, so that's another risk I'd be having to take in just simply transferring to an international school. And as far as study abroads are concerned, um, the GI Bill does not cover study abroads unless it is explicitly needed for my degree. So the only other option would be to find an American school with a campus out in another country. And the main one uh, for Japan in particular is Temple University. Basically, if I were to transfer out there, I would get BAH the same as if I was living at their main campus, which I think is in Boston. But I'd be out in Japan doing Andy Japandi season two. Being able to collaborate a bit more directly with Sam and others, uh, hopefully being able to get out more good videos, not just on my channel, but his channel as well, and uh, just doing good things, man, because I, th I feel like things aren't really clicking out here in Kalamazoo, Michigan. You know, in a lot of ways, it's a, basically a scaled up version of my hometown, which is, it's nice to visit, but as far as living there again, just really isn't a viable option for me at this point. So before I go though, there is one little bit of kind of YouTube news that I wanted to cover. I noticed that my uh, Andy Edit channel has been taken down from YouTube. Um, the reason behind it, I'm not entirely sure. YouTube just said that the channel violated some kind of uh, TOS agreement or some, something like that. I sent them a uh, response, just basically asking what happened, what part of the TOS did I violate, was there some kind of community guidelines violation. So I don't know if my channel was hacked or if something else happened, I don't know. They just terminated my channel without telling me. You know, aside from the general, well, your channel violated community guidelines. It's like, what community guidelines? What did I do? And apparently, this is something that's been going around YouTube for about a week or so now. I've been looking it up on Reddit, and there's a couple other channels that have been affected as well. So I'm hoping that this all gets cleared up by YouTube in the following weeks, and we'll be able to get the channel back up and running soon. But in the meantime, I still have all my old Andy Edit stuff on my main channel. Once I get more information about the status of the channel, and if we can bring it back or whatever, then I'll be sure to let you guys know. But until then, that's all I got. So, with that said, this is the Andy Sign. Sign it for now. And as always, we'll see you next time. Catch you later, guys. Bye. <laughs>